Hi there. Today we are going to take a little time to talk about empathy and compassion, and here's why. Um, so as you can notice, maybe perhaps if you're watching my videos, is there's two common threads that kind of flow through them all. One is focus on, you know, only focus on what you actually have control over and let the stuff that you don't have control over go. Um, and we naturally, our brains naturally focus on negativity and the negative side. Um, that's how we survive. That's how we don't cross the street in front of a car, assuming positive intent, right? Like our brains automatically go to the negative. And so in order for us to balance that out, we need to very purposefully focus on the positive. Um, if we genuinely feel it in the moment or not, but that's how we make that balance. And so one of the best ways that we could do that is simply remembering that everyone at all times is always doing the best that they can possibly do with who they are in that moment. That is the big key. Everyone, including yourself, has always done the absolute best that they can possibly do given who they were in the moment of action and decision. No one sets out to say, I'm gonna be an asshole today. No one plans their morning around doing negative things to you and you don't plan your morning to be mean or do negative things to other people. It's just not where our focus is. And if someone's focus does go there, we're talking about something else. We're talking about, you know, like chemical differences in the brain that, that need to be taken a look at. But in general, the, the normal everyday person, the vast majority of people on earth. It, it, and, and the reality is even those with chemical imbalances, they're still doing the best with who they are and who they are has a chemical imbalance. No one wants to harm others. No one wants to go out of their way to be a jerk. We are all at all times, at all times, doing the absolute best that we can be doing with what we have, the tools that we have, the history that we have, the chemical imbalances that we have, being hangry or just coming out of a fight and then going into a meeting, whatever all of those things are, we're all doing the best that we can with what we have in that moment. Absorb that, feel that, know that for yourself so that when you do look back on things and wish you had handled them differently, know that you could not have handled them differently. What you can do is learn the lesson and pull that into the future with you. But dwelling on the past gets you nowhere because you can't do anything about it. And you did in fact do the absolute best that you possibly could have done in that moment who you were then. Are you a different person now? Yes. Will you make a different choice now? Maybe, but... <laughs> Now is where it's at. Now is where it's at. So this is me giving you permission to forgive yourself. This is me giving you permission to forgive yourself of those things that you wished you had handled differently. Knowing with surety that you did the best that you possibly could have done in that moment, and that's it. So forgiving yourself, taking the lesson into the future, but leaving the event and the story in the past is what will serve you and any of those that you have inadvertently hurt. By becoming a better person into the future is where the healing comes from not dwelling in the negativity of the past. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there is, I, this is a rough one sometimes. So feel free, feel free to reach out to me um, and ask any questions or um, if you need any help with this, if there is something big 
that you know you're still holding on to that needs to be released either something you did or something someone else did to you please reach out to me uh let me help you okay um so yeah have yourself a great week i look forward to seeing you again and i look forward to hearing from you thanks a lot bye